So in the last video we talked about converting some number in base 2 to and from the equivalent in base 10. Well, in this video I want to talk about two other cases, and that's converting a base 2 number into a base 8 number, and a base 2 number to and from base 16. And these are commonly known as 10 being decimal, 8 being octal, like an, octa or an uh, octagon, and base 16 being hex, a decimal. And this is actually two words. This is hex, hex being 6, like hexagon, and decimal being 10. And you combine the two, and we end up with base 16. So when people say base 16, or they say hexadecimal, they're talking about the exact same thing. So let's first talk about uh, converting 2, base 2, into base 8. So let's say we have the number 110101. And that's written in base 2. And we want to find out what that means in base 8, or octal. And this turns out to be really easy. Yeah, so basically, we break it down so that we have three digit groups. And we figure out what that is in octal. And we can simply count it. 1, 2, 4, 6. And this is 1 plus 4, so 5. And so our octal number is going to be 6, 5. So it's simply 6, 5, and octal is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and base 2. So all you have to do is break it into groups of 3, and then write the numbers out. Let's say we want to go from an octal number into binary. This is just as easy. So we want to take A and 8, and convert it into B and base 2. So let's say we're given the octal number 65. Let's say 6, 5, 1. 651 in base 8, and we need to figure out what that is in base 2. So all we do is we take each digit, and we make it into three binary numbers. We take 6. 6 is what in binary? Uh, 4, 2, 0, and then we write out 5, which is going to be 1, 0, 1, and we finally write out um, 1, which is 0, 0, 1, and we just add these together, or we just combine them like this, 1, 0, 0, 1. That's base 2. Is equal to 651 and base 8. So that's octal. So let's do hexadecimal now. And let's say we want to convert some number in base 2 into some number or to the equivalent in base 16. So how do we do that? Let's say we want to convert 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, in base 2, and to its equivalent in base 16. Well, it's very similar to octal. All we do is we break the numbers down into groups of 4, and we write out what that number is in decimal. So 1 plus 4 plus 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, which is 15. And now, unlike octal, we have too many symbols here to write it um, in a similar fashion. So we don't know how to write 13 and 15 as one symbol. What we have to do is use the hexadecimal symbols, which start at 0. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We run out of symbols, so we simply use the letters A, B, C, D, E, F. And these represent 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
So looking at this chart, we can say D. We can now write this as D1F. D1F in base 16 is equal to our original uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and base 2. So let's go the other way like we did with octal. Let's convert a hexadecimal number. Let's say we want to convert F, F, C and base 16 into its binary equivalent. So all we do here is we take each letter, take F, we can write its decimal equivalent first to simplify things. We'll take this one, 15, and C. We look at our chart that we made. It's equal to 12. And then we write the binary equivalent of each of these numbers, so 15, 15, and 12. Well, 15 is just 1, 1, 1. Um, 1, 1, 1, 1. 15 here is 1, 1, 1, 1. And 12 is just going to be 1, 0, 0. And then we combine them. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And that's our base 2 equivalent to our base 16.